Hi Capricorn, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for December 2020. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising and Capricorn Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. So all that being said, Capricorn, now on to your December 2020 psychic tarot reading. First card you got, uh, who else got this? I believe Leo got this as well, not in the same position, but you got 10 of rods and 10 of rods is moving on to new and better horizons with 10 rods of burden on your shoulder, which are knowledge and experience you've gained that are going to help you as you move on to the new and better horizons. You could even be feeling overburdened in December. I feel like you're going to be very concerned and kind of conscientious or worried about like what you need to complete. Like I see you like, I got a lot to do. I got a lot of things to complete. You've got to get like, you've got to get motivated to make some changes. And some of the changes may be problems that you need to fix that could be going on in your home like leaky roofs, hot water heater, heating systems, windows, siding, but it could also be things that need fixing even in family situations or relationships. You have to be very careful of the words you use because I hear the collective consciousness of Capricorn going, oh no, I put my big foot in my big mouth or my, I put my foot in my mouth. Oh no, like you have to be careful because you may say something that you don't even mean to hurt somebody's feelings or to be inappropriate and you know, somebody could take it that way. I don't know, but be cautious of what you say in December. Some of you may even be thinking about, I want to alter my appearance. So you may be thinking of getting plastic surgery or some kind of uh, facial massages or, you know, um, work done to your skin to improve your skin or, you know, any kind of plastic surgery of any kind, facially or to your body. You may also have a lot of revved up energy where you're like, I got all this energy and I, I'm like spinning my wheels and I don't know what to do with it. I got to get out and move, move around, move something, do something. So you may even feel like you're going stir crazy. Maybe you're working, you have to work from home and you're like, oh, I need to like go for a walk. I need to go somewhere I go visit a friend or go out to a store or because I get like a stir crazy energy for some of you. Some of you are going to be uh, quite whew, like brazen and you may put all your cards on your table to a boss and say, look, Unless you're willing to reduce my hours or give me a raise or give me a promotion or have me do this or that, then I'm not going to keep working here. Or you, you, like I, I see it could be with a love partner. You could be giving a love partner an ultimatum, an ultimatum also. But for some of you, I feel like you're doing it at your job with a boss. So... That may be where you're going to think you're going to put your foot in your mouth. I don't know. You have to see. Next card you have is the devil. Now, this is being addicted to something. You could be addicted to something or your partner could be addicted to something or somebody in your family or somebody you care about. This could also be being trapped and bound to an unhealthy relationship or being trapped and bound to an unhealthy situation. Some of you may feel like you have a partner you're in question of or you don't trust them anymore or you don't trust what they're up to. It doesn't necessarily mean cheating. It could be other things you don't trust them about. 
I feel like some of you that are coupled are going to be looking at your partner like, what's up with their behavior? Like their behavior doesn't seem right to you. Like, are they hiding something? Are they up to something? They may be acting like a little off tune to you in some way. Some of you, this devil is representative of the ne negative self-talk that you do to yourself. So you could be saying, you could have be thinking negative things about yourself or talking to yourself in a negative way. That's, that's going to drive up insecurity in you. So really try not to do that. Some of you may be having a battle of wills that involve ego. So it could be your own ego, like there could be things happening and you've, and it, there's a battle and it's affecting your ego, which could be insecurity, could be one of the things to do with ego, but it could also be a battling with somebody else, a partner, a love partner to you or somebody you're close to and the not getting along or whatever is going on could be ego driven here. You may find yourself being very uh, blunt, sharp and to the point. Like if you have any thing that you don't like what's going on, remember what I said to you in the 10 of rods, I saw you doing that with a boss, like getting right to the point, like you either give me a raise or give me less hours or give me a better shift or give me more clients or give me that territory or I quit. That's like sharp and to the point. This devil card, you could, that could be that, but it could also be you doing that with somebody else you're connected to, not just a boss. Some of you may feel like there is somebody you're connected to that's deceiving you. This could be a love partner, but it could even be one of your kids. It could be uh, somebody you work with. It could be a close friend of yours. But I get the energy of like, for some of you, this devil card is representative of you feeling like someone is being deceptive to you. But you know what? On a positive note, I feel like you have dealt with this issue in the past. And so it's almost like I feel like you'll know what to do or know how to handle it better this time, because I feel like this is something you've experienced before. Maybe not with the same person. It might be, but maybe not. But I feel like you're going to know how to handle it comes up here. So the next card you have is five of cups, and this is sadness, loss, and regret, but not all hope is lost because two out of the five cups are still upright. So there's still hope there. So, and this could even having, you know, ha being regretful about things that happened in the past as well. This feels to me like your emotions and that you feel like something has spilled out of your emotions and that you don't want to deal with it or don't want to do it again. Remember, I got a repeat in the devil card. I feel like there is a repeat of a pattern here and you're like, I, you're disappointed in it. You don't want to deal with it again. I feel like you're hearing somebody say something to you that sounds like the same old story or it's a same old situation and it's wearing you down. It's like, it's eroding you. It's wearing you down. If you have parted ways with someone recently, or you are going to part ways with somebody, it's like, I see somebody new coming in really quickly right after that. Now that's not going to make you feel good to hear if you don't want to break up or leave the partner you're with. But I'm saying for those of you that that happens to, I see somebody coming in really quickly right after. Some of you, this could be if you put, my guides are saying, if you put something out there and you got rejected. So if you tried to apply for a loan, a permit, a license, or if you tried to put resumes out and there was a specific job uh, or a couple jobs you really wanted and you didn't get hired, or maybe even if you put yourself out there emotionally to somebody that you have interest in that you're romantically interested in and they're not like, it's not reciprocal. You could feel disappointed. So um, my guides are using the words like 
for some of you Capricorns is if you put yourself out there in some manner and it didn't, it didn't, you didn't get the result that you wanted. Some of you may have been dealing with a, like childish behavior. So it could be a love partner that's been childish or maybe your children, you had to go somewhere or, and they acted up and acted really childish and it was embarrassing to you and you were disappointed in them. I don't know, but I do also, my guides are also using the words dealing with childish behavior and the, in someone, whether they're little kids disappointing you that are behaving childish or adults, either way, that's another uh, possibility here with this card. I feel like some of you Capricorns are going to see like, I don't know that I want to say the dark side of somebody, but maybe a negative side up to someone or to a couple people that you didn't really see it before. Like something of their dark side could be showing up and you're like, wow, that's a little disappointing. Now, <clears throat> look at these two cards. These are very similar to me in some ways, but this one isn't as bad as the five of cups. You have four of cups. So four of cups is going within, overanalyzing, ruminating, pulling at straws, worryment, worrying about the past, mulling things over, having difficulty, in, like maybe you have to make a decision and you're trying to decide something here. But you are getting some kind of blessing that's going to come to you unexpectedly, out of the blue possibly, or like the divine source is giving you some kind of blessing. Some of you are going to be thinking about how you want to revise your revise how you're dealing with a relationship or revise how you're handling a relationship. Some of you are saying there's got to be more to it than this. I can't keep doing this. So you may feel like this is a disappointment. I don't want to keep doing this. You know, let me just say something right here. I haven't said this in a while, but a lot of times what I predict, this is the nature of psychic readings. It's not just me. This is anybody that's psychic. They see forward and backward. And spirit guides don't understand time the way we do. The way time looks to us does not look the same to them. So what I'm saying to you, some of this could have happened a year ago for some of you. For some of you, this could be happening in a year from now. But for some of you, it is happening now. So... For some of you, if you're like, I've, I, this has already happened to me, because once in a while I get that on the comments and I'm like, well, that's the way psychic readings go, you know, forward and backwards. The crystal especially is like that. Some of you are going to think about like you're tired of wasting your time in something and you're going to pack up your things and go. And this wasting your time could be at a job you don't like anymore, a career you don't like anymore, a love relationship you don't like anymore. Um, a friendship that's, you know, not going well. If your love life is in disarray, you're going to have the blessing of a revival to your love life. Maybe not with the person that you're disgruntled about. It could be new love. Remember, I did say anybody that's splitting up, there's a new person coming in right around the corner. You may feel like there's a relationship, whether it's a work relationship or a family relationship or a love relationship that's gotten too complicated. And too, I, I hear the words too complicated and too many question marks. And this may be affecting you by causing you to internalize things. And we just had Mars retrograde for what, 90 days? And now it's direct, but it's still not up to full speed. Like that can cause you to internalize things. You could even have somebody that could give you the opportunity that says, do you want to sell this? Because I'll buy it. So somebody may have, you may have something that somebody wants. Could be your house, could be a car, could be something else you have a val value that maybe you weren't even thinking of selling it. And somebody's like, hey, Capricorn, you know, I really have been looking for this, that, or the other. Uh, would you sell it? Or maybe it's something you created or a business you own. So don't be surprised about that. You could get some kind of offer here where somebody wants to buy something from you.
at your wacky cards here. Well, your cards are kind of up and down. Uh, but you end on a good note, Capricorn, Ten of Cups. So this is happily ever after. This is happy emotions, feeling great. Things going on are all on the up and up. If you have kids, they could be happy. If you're married, your marriage could be, or if you're you know, seriously committed to somebody, your relationship could be really going well. There's things that you're going to do and that you're going to find out and you're going to get the answers and things that you need this month. And if you get shot down in different things, like if you're out to get a job or trying to meet somebody new or trying to get a promotion, it's like I see you dusting yourself off and getting right back up again. Even if it's like this is disappointing you, you get right back up. That disappoints you, you get right back up. You're not... In a, you're not in a give it, give in, giving in and giving up mode at all. Some of you are going to become part of a new family, a new unit. Uh, so you could, you could be getting married in December, getting engaged in December. You could be moving in to a situation, but I, but I hear it as getting like, it's not like you're just getting the like a new partner. You're getting like a whole family here. Like family comes up here. If you own a home and you decide to put it on the market in December, it's going to sell crazy fast. And you know, Capricorn, uh, if you're single, don't be surprised that if love comes in to you this month, comes to you this month because I hear love comes to you when you least expect it. So you may have written off marriage, written off, I don't, I'm not doing this anymore. I need to be by myself or I've been single forever. And lo and behold, that the right person shows up for you. It's highly likely. Some of you are getting some kind of boost to your income that's going to help the situation in your family. Either you're getting the raise or you're getting a boost to your income personally that then it helps everyone involved or your partner is. But I do get a boost to your income that helps your family. And I see you Capricorn really thinking about sticking to what is important to you and not letting anybody try to alter your mind about it or change your perspective. So I see you being very uh, committed to and staying true to what you believe in and what you want. I don't feel like you're going to be willing to compromise and give in this month. Even though you may have some disappointments with people or in situations, I get that you pick yourself right back up again. And some there's something good is coming to you right around the corner. If you have disappointments this month, it's fleeting because they'll you've got like blessings coming to you right around the corner so the gemstone crystal i got that's the best for capricorn this month is amethyst for december of 2020 and libra also got this but i haven't done all the signs yet i'm on sign number eight i do it in the order my guides tell me to i don't just go in the beginning of the month i don't go from aries taurus gemini i don't do it that way Whatever signs they tell me to do on the day I'm doing it. And so you and Libra, and I did Libra like many days ago. So you both got amethyst. This is going to be a stone that helps you see the writing on the wall. You're going to see things really clearly. If you get anybody that's challenging to you, this is going to help give you like bravery and courage against any difficult situations or challenges. Also, I, some of you may feel tired this month, a little drained or tired. Could be emotionally drained too. This is a stone that's going to help like boost your energy up. So I would definitely sleep with an amethyst stone under your pillow if you could or wear a beaded bracelet. You always get more power from the stone if it's touching your skin. Also, it's good to put on your you know, third eye chakra, your throat chakra, or your heart chakra 
when you meditate. If you have to deal with any distant relatives that come and visit you, or, and it may be due to the holidays, doesn't even have to be distant. They're going to help you and dealing with any relatives. So let's just leave it at that. This is going to help you deal with them. Not that you don't like them, but you know, if you say they are at a distance and they have to come stay with you, that, you know, you have to deal with that disrupting your routine, changing the dynamic, and maybe they're going to stay for a week. And after day number three, you're like, oh, I, 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 it's too much. Some of you may not have that issue at all, but if you have to deal with any relatives that are challenging or relatives that need to come stay with you for a dis at a, from a distance, my guides say, this is going to be a beneficial stone for you. So keep that in mind because we got holidays this month, you know? So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. Thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on my channel, you can get more videos on very specific topics for your sun, rising, and moon signs by going to my Vimeo on-demand pages. The most recent video links are posted below in the description box in the show more section. And all the video series links and descriptions are on the videos page on my website at www.theluckymermaid.com. You can read there what divination tools I've used and the time frames the predictions cover. You can click on the zodiac sign you want under the video series you want and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. If you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from me that you're not going to see here on my channel, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC also on Facebook, and on Instagram at The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. I use a variety of divination tools, the predictions are not just for the day that I post them. They can cover a couple weeks out, a day or two out, months in advance. And these messages do resonate and speak to a lot of people. And I often get the question, well, what sign is it for? I believe that there are messages for anybody that chooses to go read those messages, or there's going to be something there that's going to resonate with you. If you would like to get any of the most recent predictions that I've uh, and videos that I've recorded, those links are always posted below in the show more section down below in the description box. And the most recent series I have recorded is the solar eclipse in Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac to cover a six month time period. There are four tarot cards. One is for what's ending. One is for what's beginning. The next is for what your blessing is. The third card is what your, uh, the fourth card is what your karmic lesson is from the energy of that eclipse. Then I look into the crystal and give you additional messages and predictions and then follow it up with an oracle card. And I pulled a gemstone crystal for each sign to show them what's the best gemstone for them to work with the energies of the solar eclipse in Sagittarius. The other video series I've recorded recently is for the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, November 30th, 2020, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. And those also cover a six month time period and I use the exact same format that I did in the Solar Eclipse and Sagittarius videos. Also, my Psychic Crystal readings for December 2020 are also available, so when I stop this reading, I go on and continue on and give you additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides to expand on the Psychic Tarot reading that I do here in the month of December for your sign. 
Also, if you would like to help support my channel and the readings that I do here, I have a donation link that is posted down below underneath all the video series that I've mentioned, and it is connected to PayPal. And I want to give a big thank you to those who've been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. I do truly appreciate it, and it does help a lot. So thank you so much for that. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing and blessed month of December to all of you out there. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Music